Microburst. What is a microburst? Is it important that I understand, that I know what it is? So let's take a look at what a microburst is, and then we'll talk a bit about why that's important to you. So an analogy maybe for a, a good analogy for a microburst is, is let's say we think of a, of a Formula One race or maybe, you know, a horse race like the Kentucky Derby or maybe a chariot race. I don't know what you're into. But when we have a race, usually we have everybody lined up ready to start. And, and then when they go, they all go top speed. Everybody's out of the gate and trying to get into position. Now, if you think of a Formula One race or something, they have that first corner where we're going to have, you know, people going off into the ditch over here, cars bumping into each other over here. So we're going to lose a few. Often that happens. And then we have the rest of the pack that carries on over here. These are the fortunate ones. Now, so that's a burst. Didn't last the whole race. It was right at the beginning. Then everybody kind of falls into place. So let's take a look at, at your network and how, you know, that might make the correlation or, or how that, that works. So on a network, often we're going to have a CIR a committed information rate. And there's, there's going to be bursting capabilities and EIRs, but let's just keep it simple for now. Let's just talk about the committed information rate that you can put on the network at any given time. And let's say you had a committed information rate of 600 megs, right? It's a pretty good amount, lots of traffic. So if you were looking at that, let's say we had a line here, and this could be our 600 meg line, right? So your users are using the network and they're, they're going you know, up and down, 400, 600, 200, and then whoops, they go way up, microburst. Why is it a microburst? Because it doesn't last that long. Back down over here. Now, how long did this last? Let's say it lasted 10 milliseconds. Boom, microburst, very fast. This traffic didn't get onto the network. It was bursty, it got clipped, and it's not there anymore. So what does that mean? So whoever's expecting that traffic, we'll figure it out. So it might not be the end of the world, right? My TCP stack or the application will say, hey, I'm missing some information. Could you send it again? So that's going to cause a retransmission. So somebody at the other end is going to say, could you send that to me again? We're going to send it over. So what was going to be sent, let's say, over here, and then time keeps going by, for argument's sake, it gets sent over here. So between there and there, what is that? That's time. So what we've done now is we've created or introduced a delay. Now, if you think of financial trading where you have your algorithms that are buying and selling, uh, you know, and, and other types of things that are very time critical, this delay could have or will have an impact on the outcome. Maybe you won't make as much money as you thought you were. Uh, maybe you'll make more, I don't know. But uh, all I'm saying is, events that were supposed to happen at a certain uh, time did not happen at that time because of a microburst. Now, what's important with the microburst is being able to see it, right? So you need that granularity to be able to get that down into the millisecond resolution so you can see the microburst. Because then you also need to know, not only can you see it, you need to know when did it start and when did it stop. Why? Because now with that information, and these things, now you could correlate, oh, my retransmission and delay, I know what happened. There was a microburst. Now, what do we do after that? Well, maybe we compensate on the network. Maybe we find out what these microbursts are, we capture them, and then find out what they are so we can go back to a specific application, go back to a specific net, uh, network equipment to fix that type of scenario as well. So all this to say what a microburst is, a burstiness of traffic at a certain, it doesn't last very long. How can you see it? You need the resolution to be able to see it. And you need to, to be have the resolution, the granularity to see when it starts and when it stopped. So you can then use that information to improve the situation. So all that to say, that's what a microburst is and that's why it's important to you. Mm -hmm.